Hello, you're watching Weekend 101, where we bring you the news. We begin in the Middle East, where things have gone pear-shaped again. In short, the bodies of three Israeli teenagers kidnapped while hitchhiking last month were found on Monday afternoon. The world waited to find out how Israel would respond to the deaths, which Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu blames on Hamas. And then, bada bing, on Thursday, Gaza was targeted by Israeli airstrikes. Now we're not taking sides on this one, heaven forbid, but why can't they all just get along? I mean for decades and decades, the bombings, the kidnappings, the abductions, on and on. <laughs> Moving closer to home, trade union NUMSA went on strike this week, demanding a 12% increase. After five months of industrial action on the platinum belt, this NUMSA strike is like a cakewalk. But the union has threatened to shut down ESCOM, which in the middle of winter is going to suck a big one. Nevertheless, efforts to end the strike are ongoing and the economy can hardly afford another In other news, the Oscar Pistorius trial has resumed again after a break of 40 <laughs> Moving further afield, Africa's great hopes at the FIFA World Cup have crashed out leaving the Europeans and South Americans to battle it out, as usual. Nigeria lost 2-0 to France, while Algeria barred out after losing 2-1 to Germany in a close match. We in Africa have grown accustomed to not making the grade at the World Cup, but for Bafana fans, the African teams are all we had. Now all our dreams and aspirations of the entire continent And finally, Communications Minister Faith Mutambi has hinted that South Africans could soon be listening to the national anthem on SABC at 6am. Eventually, school children will have to recite the anthem. Ok, we're not sure about the last one, but hey, Mutambi told the parliament that there will be a memorandum of understanding between the SABC and the GCIS, which is part of a new national communication strategy approved by cabinet last week. Shut up! And that folks, is your Weekend 101. Until next week, goodbye.